Hello, my name is Christina Carbon Kowalski, the mother of Christopher Kowalski. Uh, Christopher has requested that I draw a dream bag. So, whenever I draw, the first thing I do is and look at it carefully because we need to focus on how to make it as exact as possible. So, what I'll start off with is the letter D, as in Doritos. So, here we go. And this one has lines, so you can actually utilize the lines to help you make that special curve. You're going to make that little special curve again. Try to line it up. And then there's a little bigger D, so you have to do the, the, the larger D. And make that larger. Okay. And now, this is kind of tricky, so whenever I do this, the O, I will, you know, do the outside part, the outside. But see, when you see the outside, this is actually intersecting. So we're going to have to, you know, make a little point there and go, woof, do that little special effect, woof. And then we try to do the big O. But it's kind of like a fiery O, so we need a little fiery O. But don't worry, because every time you sketch, you always want to align it the best way you can. Now we're going to take this and do the little squiggly. And as I said before, you're going to see that O kind of intersect. So we'll do that little intersection there. And there we go. There we go. Pam, We got that. Now it's time for the R. The R doesn't look too hard, so it looks like it's a, a pipe. So we'll make it like a little pipe. Pipe in it. Pipe in it. Pipe in it. Pipe. In it. pipe. Alright, so the I kind of curves. It looks like a candle. A curved candle. So we'll do this I. And there's like a triangle at the side. I'm leaning on the picture, on my pencil. Doritos and the T is here, so the T kind of connects and connects. And then you're moving up, down, up, down, down. Right, enough of the sound effects. And the little T is going to go like that. And as we said before, that kind of intersects, so this is going to be tricky, 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 tricky. Oh! I'm going in! It's going in! Ah! But we kind of like taper it off a little bit, but it has a little effect of the color. So you want to create that coloring effect. There's a coloring effect over there. Now we're taking the O. Oh no! Oh! But see, it kind of cuts off, so it's kind of tricky here. So we're going to put a little bit here. A little bit there, and you could create your own style. And try to make the O here. Whoop, whoop. You do a little whoop whoop sounds. Whoop, whoop. And now, time for the S, as in Star Wars. For your Star Wars fans, may the Doritos be with you. Get it? May the Doritos with you. May the Force be with you. And there we go. Very quietly, very calmly. And if yes. you're a Star Wars fan, yes. you know May the 4th. Yes. There's a little R. I'm going to put the word grand. I'm going to put the word grand, just like it. Alright. Now we're time to make the nacho cheese sign. Alright, exciting stuff. Alright. So now, time for the nacho cheese sign. There we go. Little nacho cheese sign. Da -da -da. We got special coloring effects. Nacho is here. Nacho. Nacho. Let's create our own style. The great thing about being an artist is you don't have to make it exactly look like it, but you can create your own style to be original. Sometimes it's always good to be genuine and 
very authentic in your own drawing ability. I think some people are so drawn into making it exactly like it. But you don't need to. Create your own style. Be your own person. Be creative. Imagine. Yes. So now I'm going to put the word cheese. I know everyone loves cheese. I know. Except those people who are lactose intolerant. Correct. They don't like cheese very much. Their tummies just hurt so much. Now, we're almost done with the cheese. Cheese is everywhere. It looks like a five like you're doing the S. So, we're doing the cheese. 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 Alright. Down to the Doritos. So, I'm going to fix the O a little bit. Because I feel as though it kind of narrowed a little bit here. Yeah, that narrowing effect. I'm going to widen that O a little bit to make it perfect. There we go. There we go. Now we're happy. So now, time to make the Dorito chip. So you're going to take your hand and let it float across. And take the Dorito chip and go, whoa, whoa. What's going on? What's going on? And I see a little bit of seasoning of the Doritos chip. Crunch, crunch, crunch. You feel that? You feel that? And then the word export. So let's put that word export. Why not? Just write it out. For right now, I'll just write the word export. Okay. Just add a little bit of curviness in there. Create my own style because... I don't want it exactly like it, but we'll just do our own style. And then we add a little bit of shading of the Dorito. Did a little darker shading, a little darker shading here. And then I'm going to put my illustration by illustration by. And don't forget to draw the back. Christina Carve Kowalski. Okay. Nine. Dated. It was the eighth? It's eighth. Or ninth. I think it's ninth. Eighth. Do eighth session. Okay. Yeah, eighth. All right. So now it's time to draw. Drum roll. The Dorito bag. Okay. The Dorito bag. All right. Let's try to be original here. Just take it right across. Do your little indentations here. Feel free to let it all just go. Let it all just go. Then, time for the Dorito bag. Time for the Dorito bag. Why not? Send it. And you don't actually draw that. But. And we just put tortilla chips. There. And there we go. Doritos, nacho cheese.